Alright, what is going on guys, it's Taz here, and welcome back to the channel. Now today what we've got for you guys is another Arrow video. So spoiler warning if you guys are not caught up with this season of Arrow, but with that out of the way, let's continue. Season 7 of Arrow has seen a pretty major change within the show. Vigilantes are outlawed in Star City, Oliver is in prison, and everyone knows he is or I guess was the Green Arrow, Team Arrow is fractured, and now we also have the introduction of the flash forwards with an older Roy and William. And so some of the biggest mysteries within the season so far have been surrounding not only the identity of this new imposter Green Arrow, but also the question of what exactly is going on with these new flash forwards. In the most recent episode, episode 4 of season 7 titled Level 2, we finally saw Oliver on level 2 of Slabside trying to get closer to figuring out who the demon is. Outside of Slabside, we also had a couple of different storylines as well. We had Felicity and Laurel trying to get information out of Silencer about Diaz, which was a really cool part of the episode, I really did enjoy their interactions, Felicity and Laurel together, as well as we did get a lot more with the Green Arrow imposter, having them team up with Dinah and Renee. And with that new team up, we got our best full look at this new Green Arrow, and now I think it is finally time to speculate on who they could be. But just a quick disclaimer, the person in the suit in the episode was most likely just a stunt double for whoever they will actually end up being, so just keep that in mind with the speculation here. But first, just throwing two theories out right off the bat, the showrunner has already said that there will be no crazy sci-fi elements in this season, meaning no time travel, so this imposter arrow is 100% not future William, as a lot of people have believed. The other theory floating around before the season even started was that it could be Roy, but with him in the flash forwards and seeing a full look at this imposter, I don't really think that it lines up, so I can't see this imposter being Roy either. Well, if neither of these theories are the case, then who is it? This could get into potential spoiler territory, so here is your warning if you don't want to know anything about any leaks for future details of this season, but one really interesting leak suggests that the Green Arrow imposter could actually be a pretty big comic book character. So about a month or so ago, some future episode titles and supposed casting news was actually leaked for this season of Arrow. Now at the time I thought this was interesting, but didn't really think too much of it, but after this week's episode, I think the leaks could actually be true. So the first leak of note was the titles for episodes 6 through 10, and we have since learned the official titles for episodes 6 through 9, which did confirm that the leaks for those episode titles were true. Episode 6 will be called Due Process, episode 7 is called The Slab Side Redemption, Episode 8, the mid-season finale, is called Unmasked, and Episode 9, which is the Arrow episode of the Elseworlds crossover, is just called Hour 2 at the moment as a little placeholder. So from these titles, we can only assume that Oliver is going to get out of prison in Episode 7 titled The Slab Side Redemption, as an obvious nod to the Shawshank Redemption. Now whether or not he breaks out of prison or gets out legally is unknown, but I think it is safe to assume that he will most likely be out by then. But the mid season finale episode 8 is called Unmasked, which leads me to believe that this is going to be the episode where we finally have the identity of this imposter Green Arrow revealed to us, and hopefully Team Arrow as well. And if you have heard the leaks before, I think you know where I'm going with this. Episode 10, the mid-season premiere, is supposedly called My Name is Amiko Queen, which seemingly confirms that she is in fact under the hood of the imposter Green Arrow. Now, I do know that throughout the show so far, they have referred to this imposter as a male character, but that happens a lot on shows like this, you have a masked character that everyone thinks is a guy, but when they take off the mask, surprise surprise, it was a woman the entire time, so I kind of think that's what they're going with here. But in case you guys are not sure who Amiko Queen is in the comics, she is the half-sister of Oliver Queen through his father, and after Oliver found out about this long-lost sister of his, she ended up becoming the new Red Arrow. And while that is just a very basic and simple description of the character, that's really all you need to know, I'm not sure how closely they're going to follow the comic book backstory because they kind of already did that with Thea earlier on, but we shall see. Also, to further confirm that Amiko Queen will most likely end up being this imposter Green Arrow, like I mentioned before, the casting for the character was also leaked as well. She will supposedly be played by this actress here, and one pretty cool thing that kind of confirms this as well was that she posted a video to her Instagram of her training at a fitness center in Vancouver where all of the DC TV shows are filmed, and this video was 
liked by James Bamford, who is one of the best Arrow directors, producers, and stunt coordinators, so just a little extra confirmation there that this character could actually be coming to the show. But overall, guys, I am very excited for this if this is the case. Introducing a Miko Queen to Arrow could be a very interesting and pretty great storyline for the show. But one last thing I did want to mention here are the flash forwards. This week's batch of them took Roy and William to future Darkest Timeline Star City where they went to a destroyed smoke technologies, ran into an older Dinah with a really awesome Black Canary suit upgrade, as well as the future version of Renee's daughter Zoe, who is a vigilante there as well. From these flash forwards, we did also see that Dinah has this big cut or scar along her throat. Now to me, does this mean that she can't use her canary cry anymore? That would be pretty interesting if that is the case. Was she in some sort of an accident and this caused the, you know, just the canary cry to be cut out of her or something? I have no clue what's going on there, but it is pretty interesting nonetheless. Also, in addition to learning more about what is going on in Star City at the time, we did also have William and Roy solve the next piece in the puzzle, revealing some sort of map. We also did have Dinah revealed to William and Roy that in the future, Felicity is actually dead, so that was a huge bombshell to drop in this episode. I'm not sure if that really is the case. Maybe everyone just thinks she's dead, but if she really is dead in the future, this is going to be one crazy storyline, and I definitely cannot wait for more. The flash forwards have been great. I've been really loving the prison stuff, the imposter green arrow, as well as the laurel stuff. Everything in this season has just been so strong so far, and I hope it continues along like this. But other than that guys, I want to know what you think about all of this down in the comments below. What did you think of this week's episode? Do you think that Amiko Queen really is that imposter green arrow? And how are you enjoying these flash forwards with William and Roy? I want to know your thoughts on all of this down in the comments below. But until next time guys, it's been Taz, and I'll see you guys in the next video.